Um, well, a, a number of composers in Scotland over the years have been very interested in uh, traditional music, uh, the, the traditional music of Scotland. Um, and, and of course, beyond Scotland, people know that music mainly concerned with the bagpipes, drones and lots of fast ornamentation. Uh, uh, but there's also uh, the violin is used a lot in Scottish traditional music and the voice and drums and, and uh, ancient flutes and so on. And I suppose uh, we have become fascinated with that older music and we, what we've wondered whether it can be possible to absorb some of those elements into our own music in the, in the modern age. And uh, my colleagues, uh, people like Judith Weir and Peter Maxwell Davis, of course, uh, have done these things in many different ways. And um, we can certainly hear them in the, in the two Peter Maxwell Davis pieces. And perhaps in my piece, uh, one of my pieces, The Confession of Isabel Gaudi, we can hear a certain modality that comes from traditional music and of course the drones and the ornamentation uh, on, on the instrumental lines. Uh, there are a number of my works um, which uh, reflect on certain aspects of Scotland's history and I suppose this work, The Confession of Isabel Gaudi, is a clear example of that. Uh, Isabel Gaudi was a real person uh, who lived in the 17th century in Scotland during the uh, witch persecution times uh, or the witch burning times uh, which went on in Scotland quite late. Um, so her, her story is quite famous in Scotland uh, because it, it makes us remember a, a very uh, uh, difficult period in Scottish history. Um, and so my work is a kind of reflection of her life and, and indeed her death and the wider implications uh, that this woman's life had in her history and in her culture. Sir Peter Maxwell Davies is one of the most well-known senior composers in the United Kingdom. Although he was from Manchester originally, he has spent most of his life in Scotland, up in the north in Orkney. He has uh, adopted Scotland as his own and indeed Scotland has adopted him as an honorary Scot. Uh, he, he has been very influenced by Scottish culture uh, because of this. He's of a generation older than me, he's now in his late 70s um, and, and was one of the major modernist figures uh, of the post-war years in the United Kingdom along with people like uh, Harrison Birtwistle. Um, Although he was never really a teacher of mine, I do regard him as a kind of mentor. Um, he inspired me as a young composer to want to uh, pursue my own uh, direction in music. His music generally can be regarded as quite modernist, although the two works of his in this programme are very accessible uh, and very popular. One is simply an, an arrangement, although a very uh, quirky, and beautiful arrangement of ancient Scottish music uh, from the Renaissance. And then the other work, the larger work, uh, Orkney Wedding with Sunrise, is a, a very light-hearted work, um, um, full of Scottish music or, or, or what sounds like Scottish traditional music, um, the music that one would hear at a Scottish wedding. And this, this work uses the Highland bagpipes in a very surprising way. And it's, uh, it's great fun to play, and it's very unusual. We don't normally hear bagpipes with the orchestra. Um, my two pieces, uh, I suppose, are from, as I say, from a, another generation, a, a younger generation. Um, one work, The Confession of Isabel Gaudi, is quite serious because of its subject matter, as I've explained. But the other work is more joyful. Uh, it's a percussion concerto. Uh, called Veni Veni Emmanuel, which is based on the, on the Gregorian chant, Veni Veni Emmanuel. Um, but it is a work which brings all the percussion instruments of the orchestra from the back of the orchestra down to the front of the orchestra. And our soloist is Colin Curry, who's another Scot. 
and um, he has played this many times around the world. It's a, a, a virtuosic showpiece for percussion solo, um, uh, but it's, a, it's also a virtuoso piece for the orchestra because they are very, they are equally engaged in the uh, virtuosity that's required in this work. 